Hey guys, welcome back to another Jams in One video. Uh, it's been quite a while since the video was uploaded, I know. Um, it's been, I believe, since December, and the last update video was posted. Um, so, let me give you a rundown of what's been going on. Um, I've been dealing with some academic struggles. Uh, for people who don't know my story real well, um, I was diagnosed with Asperger's Syndrome in 2007 and ADHD, so my, my ability to focus on schoolwork is horrible. Um, so I didn't really have a lot of time to upload because I was busy studying and um, we're getting ready to buy my first car. I'm very excited. Uh, don't know when it's going to be here or when we're getting it, but I'm hoping it's very soon and I hope it's a car I'll truly enjoy. But um, I already know that it's going to be a coup. Uh, that's the one thing I know about the car. But anyways, on to the game news. Um, I've gotten a lot of work done in Pokemon. I have a... Uh, Getting ready to start up for a new um, series for VGC training. Um, might even get some highlight films uh, this Wednesday. Might, don't know yet. With my cousin, uh, who, is, who has a uh, YouTube channel as well, Ravage Legend. Uh, you can check it out. I'll put it in the description below. Um, me and him are, are hopefully going to be able to go together to the Gator Games in Hiram, Georgia. People don't know who that is. It's uh, on the Jim Lee Smith Parkway, uh, if you live in Georgia. Um, it's uh, they host tournaments every week on every week on Wednesday at four o'clock p.m. Uh, they do TCG and VGC tournaments. Um, I have yet to participate in official tournaments. I have not battled in a uh, tournament format since 2000 and I believe 11. But um, I'll be looking forward to making my return there about four years later. Um, anyway, I'm gonna give you guys a rundown of my team real quick for the VGC. Now, um, this is one of my personal favorite picks. Kangaskhan, level 64 right now. No, Zot Rage, Crunch, Return, Power Punch. Has a Scrappy, uh, oh, that's not, that's the ability. Whoops. Um, oh, no, that is the ability. Scrappy. Um, it's, it, uh, the stats are okay. I mean, I have Pokemon on this team that have much higher stats than this. Okay, moving on. Aegislash. I got this one over, I transferred this over from my GTS trade, I had an X on my copy of X. I uh, noticed Flash Cannon, King Shield, Substitute, and Shadow Claw. Tell you what though, in, uh, in reality that, um, that, uh, that, uh, crap. Oh, uh, Substitute System comes in a really good effect. Uh, you know, you can stud it up early and hope that, um, the hope that it doesn't really come back to bite you because I've had instances where I'm battling online and I'll be using substitute and immediately as I set it up it gets put back down. As the ability stance change, uh, of course all this slash just come to that. It's level 100. Fully fully trained monster right there. The thing is a monster on the court. And it's got a leftovers. Is it bottom? Greninja. For those who don't know, on X I did a ton of shining breeding. I didn't film any of it. Um, I filled up eight boxes of uh, of uh, Crokey eggs to get this. This was the only shiny out of the bunch. Um, has the ability Torrent. Uh, I don't know the nature. Let's find out. See if I can find it. Um, oh, has the adamant nature. I just see the daycare helpers. I got this in September seventh, in two thousand fourteen. Uh, okay. It knows extrasensory, smackdown, hydro pump, and toxic for the item of the focus band. This one's a new member to my team, my Thunderous, which has the focus sash, knows heal block, agility, discharge, and crunch. Has both the bolt absorb. It has a mild ability, a mild nature. I call it this one in this game. Um, the stats are decent. Uh, I'm not really proud of a defensive stat because I am one who likes to play on the defensive side. Uh, that's a whole new thing for me because I've been I'm, I've been all about offensive and speed my entire life on Pokemon, so that kind of explains why I've been getting beat so much in the past, as I never advanced past the first round in uh, So I'm trying to get more strategizing done here. Um, next up, Jeff's not again. This was another Japanese transfer from X. Um, has the ability overgrow. Has a party nature. It sits at level 88 right now. It knows Frenzy Plant, Hammer Arm, Spiky Shield, and Mud Shot. That Spiky Shield move has made so many KOs for me online. It's just ridiculous how I can set that move up when someone's having low HP and I can just finish him off there with that. Um, 
Alright, and last but not least, this one's also very new. I've just added him to my team. A uh, Talon Flame, which knows Flamethrower, Fire Blast, Brave Bird, and Fly. Level 91. Flame Body Ability. Uh, this was another Japanese guy, but I traded I got him on this game. Um, I had two Kyogres one from my very old game that uh, would not be useful in this generation anymore, so I just decided to trade it for Talon Flame. I still got my my Kyogre from this game. Um, it's that the stats are relatively stout. This is better than I expected. Um, it's got a sassy nature, uh, and that's about it for my team here. Um, uh, this is my secret base right here. So you'll probably see me spending a lot of time and even opening some, most of my videos here. It's uh, based like an apartment. Uh, my cut, my two cousins, Makai and Michael. Otherwise, I went to Ravage Legend, and he doesn't have a YouTube channel. So my cousin right there, Makai. There'll be some videos soon later. Um, my little brother there, uh, who is Liam Bomb Gaming. He has a. Uh, I'll put his channel in the description as well. Uh, he's filming a Call of Duty video as we speak. Um, my little bedroom here. My little desk with a Pikachu because that's my boy. Uh, I have the blue bed. My lucky color. Um, the Fisher mat and the two other welcome mats. Um, that's that's uh, really about it. Um, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do some practice runs. I'll show you um, how I run my team in competitive battling. I'm gonna battle my cousin Michael, who, despite being a year younger than me, was my mentor when I first started playing Pokemon. Um, I know one of my updated videos featured a battle between me and him. So here we go. I love this feature in the secret bases. Of course, I hate to only have three Pokemon. All right, here we go. Swallow and Slacking. I usually. No, I usually research this setup. So I know what I'm doing here. Okay. Now, in a reality, Aegis Slash would not be a good lead for this because you could just take out a, a Thunderous and or the Talon Flame even and hit a decent sized hit onto that uh, Talon, uh, not Swallow. So what we're going to do here is we're going to Mega Evolve, of course. Uh, hit Return. And it's not getting... Wait, no. That was a bad choice. Power Punch. And a power Punch in a second. Then we're going to take Aegislash and get into the Substitute quite early. Now this is where I like here, the, the leftovers, If as long as the Substitute stays up, I can get some serious health back off the, uh, off the uh, leftovers. The two hit, of course doing some moderate damage, not really that bad. Uh, I've brought it down to half health, and now Swallow's gonna go for Brave Bird. Let's see where he's, where he's taking it. King is gone, that was predictable. Already. Now Psyching is gonna go for the Giga Impacts. More likely on King is kind of low. Here's the leftovers coming into play. As you can see, it's starting to restore health very slowly. Now back into the 200 range, which is very good. We're gonna go for another power punch on the Psyching, and this time go for flash cannon on the swallow. Now that's not very effective, I know. It's a type this is going to go that move. But I'd rather have a move that does some damage than none. Uh, Shadow Claw would, not, would not affect it at all. Alright, so we get the KO on the slacking. Really good move there. Uh, leveling about, close to leveling up again. Uh, Aegis Lash is now coming into play to hopefully do some damage to that Talon Flame. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Oh wow, got the KO quite quickly on that one too. Now his team's on this this specific setup on his team right now, uh, it's not very different with a level release on, so that's why it's not on. Uh, it's not really useful at all. He's got one Pokemon left, I know, and it's Umbreon. Which as you can see is level 41, so it is his weakest link. So we're going to go for the Power Punch once again. And then I'm going to hit him with the Shadow Claw. That is I don't know how well that will work. I've never had this situation before. We got the one hit KO. And that'll about do it for that battle. Alright. So uh, there'll be more videos being posted today as part of this new series on uh, Alpha Sapphire and VGC training. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll be back soon. More J Adams in one action to make up for all that time off. See you guys soon.